What's up, fam? You've got Michael back with another episode of Community Voices. Uh, this week, we've got a very special guest, you know, from, from the island, now the mainland. We've got uh, Alohi Gilman. What's up, Alohi? What's up, man? Good to be out here. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, so let's just jump right into it. You know, um, you know, you grew up in Hawaii, um, not heavily recruited. Um, Walked on in Navy is kind of the underdog story, right? And then one of the most uh, storied franchises in, in college football, and now in the NFL. I mean, that's a that's a lot, a lot that's happened. But talk to me about that journey. Yeah, um, it's been a, a crazy journey, you know. Um, an island boy, all the way out to uh, Navy on the East Coast, um, and then making my way to the Midwest. And now I'm out here in California. So I kind of, it's kind of cool because I've been able to travel a little bit on each part of the mainland. Uh, but it's been, it's been a cool journey, man. It's been unique. Uh, not something that I thought I would be doing, but, you know, I'm, I'm blessed because God blessed me with a lot of great opportunities, uh, you know, to see a lot of different people go through a bunch of different experiences um, that shaped me to be the person I am today. Yeah, I mean, what did you imagine yourself doing back when you were, or a little kid on that island. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I I think I always uh um you know I, I was a competitive kid. I I played sports my whole life. Um, okay. but growing up, I was I'm a water guy. You know, my family's water family, so I learned how to surf when I was three, four years old. Um, I'm one of seven siblings, so we all learn how to we all know how to surf. We're all in the water. Uh, so growing up, I always wanted to be a professional surfer, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, as time went on, I, I realized that I was better on on the grass than I was on the on the board. But I still love surfing. But, uh, you know, I'm blessed I mean, regardless to be from Hawaii and, you know, be able to play football as well. Yeah. Who was, that, who was your uh, role model growing up as you started shaping your like athletic career? Yeah, so um, I'd say my father, my dad, uh, he's been a big role model for me. He's been a guy who's been very supportive. Um, he, uh, he played college football as well at Southern Utah, a small D1 school. Um, He's uh, been a guy and part of my life who's just continued to push me, uh, create different opportunities for me. Um, you know, he he started a nonprofit organization called Education First in, in Hawaii, and uh, it's something that continued to carry on to this day. He's done a bunch of football camps um, for 15 years that he did for a while. So uh, he was just a guy that I always followed, a uh, guy with a lot of, who's a humble worker, sacrificed a lot, and uh, taught me everything I know, you know, being able to, to get to this opportunity, you know, comes with a lot of great support and uh you know my dad taught me so much and so I wouldn't be out be here without him oh that's awesome and I, I guess like you know having that charitable and philanthropic aspect in in your life you know it goes beyond just the athletics piece of it so um you know seeing you grow in your career and using your platform is you know one of the reasons why I'm excited to talk to you um you know I I uh, read a little about about uh, the charity that you you supporting the Hola Napua. Um, how did you get involved with that? Hola Napua. Yeah, so um, obviously uh, in the NFL they give us you know multiple opportunities to you know interact to support foundations and charities. Um, and for me, it was my first year in the league. I was, uh, I don't know if you can hear me still. Yeah. Yeah. My first year in the league, um, you know, I was trying to figure out opportunities, man. There's a lot of, there's so much great opportunities to support. Um, but this specific uh, charity is actually based um, not too far from where I live in, in, the, in the North Shore of Oahu. And uh, it was about sex trafficking, more so 
trying to create opportunities and integrating programs for victims of sex trafficking. Um, so I, I dove deep into that um, and kind of figured out uh, what a problem it was, not just in in the islands, but, you know, in the world. And uh, it's, it's been something that I've been passionate about. You know, I'm like I said, I have one of seven siblings. I have three younger brothers um, and a younger sister. Um, and, you know, I would never want, you know, these opportunities or this not lifestyle experiences to be able to be passed on for generations. I'm a family man. Um, you know, I'm Hawaiian at heart, Hawaiian blood. You know what I mean? And so protecting our family, protecting our land, protecting our people is important to me. So that was uh, just something that I gravitated to, um, that charity. So from there, I kind of, you know, got into it more and learned more about what they do in their program and uh, try my best, you know, just to, to learn and educate myself first before trying to, you know, step into that field. But, you know, I still have a lot of work to do and we would love to continue to support them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, of course, it's like a, a hard subject, a tackling subject to talk about, um, but, you know, it's an important mm -hmm. piece. Um, so, I mean, what is something that, that I guess you want to spread or, or, or stories that you, you've heard that have impacted you that, that you could help share, um, you know, within, within the like sex trafficking? Yeah, well, I you know I, I've I've learned a little bit from you know from the organization and from my own research as well, and what I've learned is a lot of the things that happen within sex trafficking is not so much. Um, a lot of people, the notion is that it comes from outside of the communities, when in reality, it's our own communities that's happening to us. So. Um, they, uh, unfortunately, there aren't the best people out there in the world and within our communities, it's happening more and more. So it's, it's people that you actually know more than you think. And that was really alarming for me because, you know, like, you know, coming from Hawaii, you know, we are all, you know, have this culture of aloha and love mm. and, uh, you know, taking care of each other. And for me to hear that was alarming, you know. And, it, it, you know, it, it kind of gave me a wake up call to realizing that is it's something that we as, you know, members of the community have to stand up and continue to push that march forward to continue to create a better environment for our children. You know, I don't have any kids yet, but, you know, in the future, you know, I would like to create environments for my children where they feel safe, protected. And if they are, you know, in those situations, they know how to act and react to it. So. Um, that's kind of my whole deal and kind of the experience that I learned that was really like eye opening for me. So just trying to, you know, push that forward, um, create, become a voice towards that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it is a sensitive subject. It's heavy, but uh, it's something that should be talked more about. And I think it's something that people need to stand up more towards. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm just grateful to learn, get the education and just keep pushing forward. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a, that's a great platform. And, um, you know, as, as someone that comes, uh, has heritage on the island, uh, very proud of you. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that you're using this platform to be able to have these difficult conversations. Um, you know, it's a, it's a tight knit community on the island, but spreading that word out as, uh, as best you can is, 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 is admirable, right? Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, after hearing that and, and um, kind of listening to your story, you know, uh, good luck on, on the field for this upcoming season. Um, but on behalf of uh, JD Sports and Finish Line, we'd love to donate uh, $10,000 to uh, Haola Napua uh, on your behalf. So, um, you know, thank you. Thank the foundation. Thank you for, for everything that, that you are doing. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. That's uh, awesome. I'm blessed to be able to get this opportunity, um, you know, and continue to be a voice. Uh, thank you to Finish Line and the crew for giving me this opportunity. Um, so much love and, you know, always blessed. Yeah, one well, love, brother. I really appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right.